Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be reviewing Bloxels, a new video game that allows you to create your own video games using blocks. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. Alright, so this here is our starter kit. It comes with 320 blocks, a game board, a challenge poster, as well as a guide book. Now on the cover, it kind of gives you an example of how it looks. So this being the actual game board, you go ahead and put the blocks in, and this is how it portrays in the app itself. So that's really cool to see. Let's go ahead and flip it over. So on the back, it kind of explains exactly what you can do with it. For one, you can actually build your own layouts, which is your levels. You can build your own custom character, which is really cool. So you can actually put yourself in the game. You can capture and customize, as well as play and share. So you can actually share it with your friends. Now, on the side here, it explains exactly what each brick is. So we have a terrain brick, coin bricks, power up, water, enemies, uh, story blocks, exploding blocks, as well as hazards. So that's really unique. So let's go ahead and open this up just a little bit more and take a closer look. So I have my blade right here, I'm just going to go ahead and make a quick cut here. And I'll make another cut on this side here. And it looks like it just kind of slides right out. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Okay, so right here we have what looks like the challenge poster. Uh, that's kind of nice. Something you can hang on the wall. <laughs> uh, so it says here, ugly sweater kitty. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, then on this side here, it actually explains how to do it. So it says to choose a game builder challenge from the challenges menu. And then you can go ahead and click build a new game as well as tap a new level. And then uh, it explains how to create your own hero and then how to use it. So we'll actually go that into a little bit later. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at this. So this here is more of a in-detail instruction book explaining what kind of characters you can make, examples, and exactly how it should look. Now from here, it does show what a coin looks like, uh, what the different bricks are, and very interesting stuff. Very detailed, very uh, nice graphics. I really like this. And then from here it says you can actually add your own images, so you can actually create clouds, make your own backgrounds. This is really cool. So I'm really excited to try this out, and it should be a lot of fun. So this here is our game board. So uh, it's kind of stuck in there. There you go. Uh, this is ABS plastic, but it's a very thick material, so it's really nice. And um, these are all our different bricks. Uh, Alright, so we have purple, we have green, we have red, we have white, and all these different colors. So let's go ahead and open up the app and try this out. Alright, first let me explain that you don't actually need the board to play the game. You can actually download the app itself and create everything within the game. Now, the only reason why you would get this is to get a more interactive experience and have a more physical aspect to it. So let's go ahead and first start off by designing our own character. So in the navigation screen, we're going to go ahead and click on Game Builder. Once Game Builder is loaded, we can go ahead and click on Build a New Game. And then this will allow me to create my own level. But what we want to do is create our own character. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Build a New Character. And since we're going to take a picture of it. Alright, and then from here we can go ahead and hit OK. Uh, what I can do is I can go ahead and center him, so I'll just do that first. So now he's centered, so that is our idle position. And let's go ahead and create a walk position. So now we go ahead and take a new photo. So uh, let's just go ahead and switch this up. This will be our first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo of that. Okay, and then I'll hit okay. And then I can go ahead and straighten that out. And then I can create an additional frame by clicking on a plus. And I can go ahead and adjust that. And then I can take a photo of this one. Hit check. So I like the way that looks. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, click on jump. And we'll go ahead and create the jump picture. Alright, so that will be our jump picture, so I'll go ahead and take a photo of that. And then we'll hit check. And then I can go ahead and test it, so let's go ahead and try that. So that looks cool. And there's a shoot, so he gets a power up, and then you can drop a bomb. So that's really cool that we have our own designed uh, character here. 
So let's go ahead and exit out. Uh, then I'll just go ahead and create my own level. Alright, this here is the level I designed. Literally you start off here, uh, you get a power up. Uh, there's a coin right here and then you break this wall down, jump over the water. Uh, get another power up, a bad guy over here, jump over that, and then uh, this here is a checkpoint, and then we have some lava, so you jump over the lava, get to the top here, and then uh, two bad guys, and then that's the final checkpoint. So let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm going to go ahead and take a photo of it. Alright, so I'll hit check. So over here is a configuration, so we can just go ahead and select uh, which character we're going to be using. So we'll be selecting this player here, and then we can actually select where he begins. So I'm going to select right there. Uh, you can pick which kind of music you want, and then from there you can actually uh, configure how the checkpoint's going to look. So you can actually, like, even at this point right here, you can say uh, exactly what you want at the checkpoint. So I can write conflicts, and then as soon as I hit that checkpoint, it'll say conflicts, which is really cool. Uh, then I can uh, just go ahead and set the game as end here on that one here, because that's the ending. Uh, then I can go ahead and click on this here and pick the kind of bad guy that I want. And obviously the more you play, the more kind of bad guys you can unlock. So I'm going to go ahead and click on controller here. And then um, you can actually design your own bad guy too, which is really cool. Uh, so let me go ahead and create one bad guy really quickly. No idea what that is, but that's going to be our bad guy. So just so you guys get an idea. Okay, and then I can just go ahead and check. And then um, click on save. So that's how my bad guy will look. Uh, you can pick the kind of power up so you can get like a jet pack, uh, bomb, as well as health. And then uh, you can go to decorate and you can create uh, specific like board stuff. So you can actually add a block and like add a flag to it as well, which is really nice. So I can just go ahead and do that here. See, and then. I just added a checkpoint there, so I can select on what I want to do. Uh, so the this here I can select for the power up. Uh, this here I can select for the the grass. Uh, it's a, it's it's actually a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and try this out. All right, so it just gives you an idea of what exactly is going on. So this here is going to be my power up, so I can shoot that and I'll get my bomb, and then I can drop the bomb and continue moving on. So these are the bricks that we can shoot. Remember I said about that. Uh, there's the water. Now, no, you can actually swim in the water too, which is uh, nice. Oh no, that bad guy's coming down. So let me go and shoot him. Uh, this guy's gonna come after me too. So okay, got him. So this here is my uh, other power up. Uh, so that's a jetpack. Okay, and then I got my checkpoint. Now that's lava, so I cannot touch it. So I gotta jump over it. That's my coin. So I'm going to use my jetpack, and we are at the finish line. Alright, well that pretty much summarizes Block Souls. Now, I really did enjoy it. I like the fact that you can literally customize and create just about anything in the game. In addition, having a physical aspect of the blocks in front of you, and seeing that in the game is really cool as well. Now, something I was confused about was the app. Literally, it was kind of frustrating at first, but it does get easier as you use it. I do recommend this for a lot of people, especially if you always wanted to create your own video game. Literally, that's what this does, and it's actually a lot of fun. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to comment down below. Also, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Take care, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.